Morning, Mikhail. Morning. Is it the same squad as last Wednesday? Um, I can tell you that after the training session. So we still have a, a session. How's Williams to be with uh, Pretty similar. He's not going to be involved tomorrow and uh, we'll have to wait uh, to the next game to see where we are. But um, he hasn't improved this week at all. No game this weekend. So was it maybe good extra days to digest the result and the performance? Because it was, it was a big night, a tough night. Those extra days, have they helped the players, I think so. Obviously, it took us a while to, to go over um, what happened um, at the Etihad, but um, we don't want to accept that. But you have to recognise that um, on the day, when they took to the game to a, to a different level, um, we didn't reach that level, and, um, and they were better than us, and they deserved to win the game. How do you see it now? Win every game, then we'll see what happens? Win tomorrow. That's what we have to do. Um, and within the disappointment and, and the spirit around it, um, two things. The first one, recognize what a lot of people has done at the club to get us back into the Champions League, was it was a, already a difficult thing to achieve and not a lot of people was very optimistic that we had the ability to do that at the start of the season. So first of all, recognize all the good work that a lot of people has done to achieve that. And the second thing that is what I like the most is that even achieving that with six games to go, something I don't think has happened in more than a decade at this club, uh, we are still not satisfied and we are still upset and we want more. So we want to be the club that we want to be, to be consistently with the best. That's the mentality that we need and that's what I loved more the last few days. You sound incredibly proud of them because people usually just after the back of a defeat look at the players and they've lost, you've lost this lead, you've lost this lead. You're looking at it another way. You're proud that you've got them this far to approach in May and you're in this position. Yeah, because we have achieved what it was difficult to achieve and we can still achieve the Premier League because it's five games to go and a lot of things are going to happen still. What we have to do is forget about what happened last week, learn from it and move on into the next game with a full deal at home with our people, London Derby, and put things right. 247 nights top. What does that mean to you? Or is what's, what's, what's important is where you are at the end of the season. How many is? 200 and? 247. So tomorrow, 248. This is what I want. Win tomorrow and be at the top. It's been unfair, isn't it, with criticism, isn't it, when you get that? But is it, is it something that happens in this country? They don't maybe look at how good Manchester City would think. I don't think it's unfair. It's football. We are Arsenal Football Club. We have to be here to win every single trophy. This is the demands. The reality what happened in the last 15 years, that's not the reality. But the demands have to be there. So the, the thing that I like the most, again, I repeat myself, great, we are in Champions League and everybody is still unsatisfied with the situation. And this is what we need if we want to move forward as a club and as a team. A couple of drop points before, then you went on a great run, those wins at Villa and Leicester. Is that what you look to now? This is what you need to do. Yes, it's at the end it's a final way to win, but our way to win has been consistent the whole season, is playing well, being better than the opponent, being dominant, and we have to do that tomorrow night to beat Chelsea. Finally, um, later Arsenal women plays the Champions League, yeah. full house, full house. I mean, when you signed a new contract, you and Jonas signed yeah. it together. Just talk to me a little about that, how proud you are about yeah. that as a football club. It shows the unity, it shows the, um, as well the, the way everything is evolving together and the importance of women's football in this country, especially what uh, the England national team do, what we are doing as a club, which as a club we may be much better than the men's football, to be fair, in, in many moments uh, with, with all the trophies that they won. That's the reality. So incredibly proud of, of them uh, to do that and as well they fully deserve the credit that they are getting uh, and to play tonight into 60,000 people. It's, it's something amazing. Thank you. Jake? Hi. Obviously, you, you sound still very <coughs> focused on what you've got left to do in the season, but how do you then keep that to the players as well? Because obviously they were in the middle of the, the game on Wednesday night, and it's difficult to, to try and keep them grounded. It is difficult, but in sport you have to accept the reality. And when, when a team is able to take the game to a different level, and you are not able to, to step to that, uh, you have to recognize that there's still work to do. And don't get confused and be very humble, recognize what our strengths are and what our weaknesses are to be better. And uh, 
the reality as well is that for 274 days we've been with them and tomorrow can be another day when we are still there and it's five games to, to go so there's a lot of things that we've done very well for 10 months I think Did you need to raise the mood in the, amongst the players or is that still still good? It's not about the mood it's keeping that fire in the belly for tomorrow And coming up to tomorrow then what, what can you expect from Chelsea a team who haven't really been at their best of late? And they're going to try to come to the Emirates to, to beat us. They have a, a great manager, exceptional players. Um, very difficult to predict what they're going to do because they can play in various ways with different players and different qualities as well. And uh, we're going to prepare the game to win it. That's it. And just lastly, then, does it then feel like the pressure maybe on you and Arsenal has, has changed maybe now after the, 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 the game on Wednesday? Now it's not in our hands. And uh, what is in our hands is to win our games. That's what we're going to try to do. And the rest is done to City. Ben? Hi, Mikel. Um, you say there it's not in your hands, but it you, you isn't. Does that mean, in a way, with what you've achieved in terms of Champions League football, you're kind of settling for second place right now? No. I already mentioned it, yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of that, then, you're obviously hoping that City slip up somewhere along the way. What did you see last week that would give you hope that they have an Achilles heel? How tough it is to win every single game. It's not something that I saw last week. It's what I see in nine months. If not, they would have won every Premier League game, and they haven't. When you look back on the last couple of weeks, how key do you think the, um, the injury to William Saliba has been? I don't know. Very important player, but I don't know how to quantify. I don't know how to quantify that Gabriel Jesus has been out for four months, Eddie Nketiah for three months, Emile Smith-Rowe for four and a half months, Kieran Tierney out for a few weeks, uh, Tomei Aswell for three and a half months, maybe now six months. This is football. Um, as has already been alluded to, Chelsea arrive tomorrow, not, not in a great place this season. They've had a, a, a season of turmoil, but clearly they'll be uh, up for it because it's a London derby. How aware do you have to be that can't take their recent form from, you know. We already spoke about it. It's going to be a very different game. It's a London derby. They have something to prove. We have something to prove. The atmosphere is going to be incredible to play in that stadium, and we're going to have to be at our best again. And finally, look, <coughs> back to last Wednesday, if there's one thing you could go back and do differently, what would it be? Win. <laughs> no. Hi, um, that first training session after the, after the City game, were they straight back on it? Were you proud of the players' reaction, or did you and your coaches have to pick them up a little bit? They didn't need much. You know, they knew the disappointment was across the club. I think everybody, uh, our supporters, our people, our staff, our players. Um, it was a big night, and um, and we didn't produce the performance that uh, we wanted, and uh, we deserved to lose the game, and we had to move on. But I think it was a, a good reality check as well. Um, in the way that they step up the level, we could not reach that level. But a reality check as well that you have a step to that level for 10 months. So believe in what you do because you are so good as well. You talked about still being in the fight for the Premier League title, of course. But if you didn't win it, the way you talk about your players and their unity, you strike me as someone who's still being incredibly proud of the season you've had, even if you didn't win it. Yes, but that's what I started saying, that I'm incredibly proud and thankful for everybody has contributed to bring Champions League back to this football club uh, with five, six games to go, something that hasn't happened in over a decade um, in this club. So congratulations and thank you so much for everybody's contributed with that. And thank you for still being upset and not accepting that Champions League is enough and we want more, because this is what is going to demand to get what we want. We're going to look at what we can do and what is the best strategy for us to move forward, to improve, to reach the level that um, that we want to reach. And uh, and again, it's going to be a very competitive um, summer and window because now they're going to be eight to ten uh, close with huge capacities to to improve, and we don't know that. No, we've spoken about the 10 months or 247 days um, of what your team's done a lot uh, well in terms of, I think, composure. It's probably 
the word I've used, that's kind of gone in the last few games. How do you go about kind of getting that composure back? How did you maybe do that when you were playing? Because that composure a lot of times is related to moments. And a moment can change, whether you use composure or you lost it and you cannot cope with the pressure. And we have very important moments that we have nailed that moment and has given us three points. And other moments that I was done that you put 3-1, the game is over and you don't do it. Uh, when you are at, uh, at Anfield or when you are at home and you can see the, the goals that we can see. But this is football as well and sport is, is part of that. It's the key moments um, are what defines at the end um, whether you win or not. And in the last week we have missed that piece. Is that more of a like, individual thing or collective? A bit of both, I think. James? Yeah, when you analyse Chelsea, what, what do you think has gone wrong for them this season? Where, where do you think the weaknesses are in their team? I don't know. As prepare, for them to analyse, not for me. I mean, they, it's often sort of said spending money, buying players is seen as the solution to everything, but it's what ha has happened to them, an example of how you need a lot more than just opening the checkbook up to, to actually make I think in our model we have uh, very important things. First of all, is to have the right people, and I think we have the right people too. And then we have the right players that can compete, that can challenge each other, can understand the role within the team. You need quality, you need goal threat, you need physicality, you need a lot of things in this in this game to do that. That is extremely difficult to find that thin balance uh, with the players, and because recruiting is just. Uh, you have the best intention, but then the player has to come here, has to fit in, has to um, get that chemistry with, with, the, with the manager, with the teammates, with the staff, with the country, and, uh, and it's not easy at all, you know, so credit to everybody that makes the, those decisions as well. I don't know what that pros would be. They are really dangerous because when you look at the individuals that they can uh, put on that field, for sure they have huge threats. So we need to be aware of that. Hi, Mikhail. Uh, question for me. Firstly, on the spending side for Chelsea, we've seen them spend huge you know, amounts of money. The reflection of what's happened on the pitch maybe hasn't equated to what we've seen previous sides invest. Do you think that that for next season with Arsenal has reduced the pressure on what spending equates to in terms of success in the league. But I don't know. But nobody says that uh, next season they're going to make 100 points. We don't know <laughs> because they have more exceptional talent. If they make that work, they can do anything, you know, because they have the players, they have the infrastructure, they have the history to do it. So I don't know. I cannot assess uh, what is right or what is wrong because you cannot assess this in, in two months when you make those changes. It's just not fair. I know you, you like your other sports as well, and, and this week we saw Giannis uh, Adetokounmpo talk about um, the Milwaukee dropping out of the NBA playoffs, and he was asked about what success and failure is, even though that they, they <coughs> he said they hadn't failed. We worked towards something, and, yeah. and that can always be looked at as, as success. Do you look at what Arsenal do this season if they don't win the league as, as success in a way, because you're working towards the ultimate goal? I don't, as a manager, I don't want to be using those words, you know. I I know what we were trying to do, what the objective was, what we've been doing, and we still have the nicest part of the season to play with five games to go. Uh, that when I still look at it, it's like, this is not over, you know. And I, I will pay a lot of money to next season in this moment, be in this position again, a lot, believe me. Uh, so I just want to maximize the, the, the moment that we have right now and go for it.